Is Freddie Gibbs becoming public enemy number one right now? He's obviously been having his issue with academics for a while now, but in the last couple of weeks, it seems like Freddie Gibbs has been beefing with everybody in the game. First, we had the incident with Jim Jones in Prime 112. Then we had Uncle Murder taking a shot at Freddie Gibbs on his yearly wrap up. Oh, yeah. Let me smoke a blunt right now and get in my zone Academic said Freddie Gibbs got beat up by Jim Jones Not a big fan of his, the streets don't rock with him That be Elliot and B not giving all of those props to him So when he talk tough, we don't believe what he say He's all the cop and his brother down with the DA yeah, I ain't like his reaction when Nas won the Grammy He never lost in court cause law enforcement is his family I know I ain't the only one that feel like he hated Freddie Abba man deserve to be Grammy nominated No, nope. do y'all know what and then we had Joe Budden throwing some shade on his podcast. If for two months out, you keep saying, yo, when I get to New York, when I get to New York, when I get to New York, sold out show. Nigga, we don't care that the shows are sold out. Like, why is he mentioning that still? We care about your safety, your people's safety, and everybody, the, the concert goer's safety, right. mm -hmm. the patron's safety. This is the worst time in the world for you to be getting as much money as you getting to endanger people or to even put that or, out or imply yeah. Yeah, to even put it out that money could be lost cuz it might go down now just one night two nights in a row are you rapper niggas this fucking stupid and if you are i have to address it cuz my kid listens to you fucking stupid niggas the fuck are you saying and now we got gonna wanna dissing him on his album now if you don't know how this beef started it all started because freddie gibbs was on twitter last year and he tweeted out if you was on crime stoppers tv you a snitch ain't no way around it and i'm not sure exactly where this came from because freddie gibbs and gonna have chilled before and i don't know what prompted freddie gibbs to tweet this maybe he saw the little segment that gonna had on tv but as of two days ago Gunner went on his Twitter and he tweeted out, When my album dropped, Freddie Gibbs will have the biggest moment of his career. Obviously, the Twitter fingers Freddie Gibbs came back and he responded by saying, You can say you sold more records, got more money, but I ain't never been on Crime Stoppers. Fiend. And then he continues saying that he's the hot topic right now and that's why people are trying to push him. Man, what a way to start off the year. Freddie Gibbs has a lot of drama with people. Now he has an issue with Uncle Murder and he seems like he's antagonizing New York rappers right now. It really seems like he really doesn't have the best relationships with people from New York City. He has had issues in the past ever since those tweets he said about jim jones early in 2013 2014 i forgot what year that was but now it seems like he's antagonizing new york rappers telling them to come to his show now the issue with joe budden doesn't seem to be that serious joe budden was really on his podcast telling him how he felt out of love it was really out of love i doubt that's really gonna turn into anything freddie gibbs already deleted that tweet about joe budden and he posted that he loves Joe Budden. And he also got Gunner coming at him over another tweet about the Crime Stoppers situation. And of course, Freddie Gibbs' worst beef, most dangerous opponent, academics. It does not seem like the beef with academics is going to stop anytime soon. So right now, Freddie Gibbs has it coming from all different directions. And it seems like it's all because of what Freddie Gibbs tweets. To me, Freddie Gibbs always seems like a cool guy. He likes to joke around. He likes to have fun. And if you have a problem with what he's saying, it really seems like Freddie Gibbs does not have a problem having the issue with you and going full on. But me personally, I really don't feel like having this much drama is worth it over a bunch of tweets that probably don't even mean nothing to you. I know Freddie Gibbs likes to joke a lot and these tweets bringing him this many issues does not seem worth it to me. I feel like as a rapper, when you talk too much, it just means bad business. But yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think Freddie Gibbs right now is public enemy number one? He doesn't have issues with 
everybody in the game but it just seems like a lot of heat is coming towards his direction and he seems like he's willing and ready to deal with everything also what do you guys think about gunner's response on the album all he really did was give him one line and he said he does not fuck with freddie gibbs he said he was gonna give freddie gibbs the biggest moment of his career and i was expecting like he was about to body freddie gibbs on a song but i don't know man i guess it's my fault for expecting so much i was kind of let down with just one bar like i bro you didn't even have to mention that before the album but what do you guys think about the gunner response on the album? I hope in all of these situations, cooler heads can prevail. We don't need anything crazy happening. It's 2022. Let's try to make this year a peaceful one and a progressive one. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like the video. I'm out of here.